Today what I'd like to show you how to do is to take a picture like this one where you have a background and then you have a foreground where what was originally part of the foreground has been cut away. And it's very simple to do, lots of easy steps. So I'm using two pictures, a bookshelf picture and then a picture of me against a white wall. And so you want to have a background that is as shadow free as possible and contrasting from what you want to remain as part of the foreground picture. So let's go ahead and get started. What I've done is I've selected two pictures from Flickr and to make things easier I've already pasted the links to those pictures onto a separate page so I can just grab those. We're going to use an editor called PixLR. This is a free online editor that's very simple to use. It has a lot of power that's similar to Adobe Photoshop and I think you'll find this really easy. So click on open image from URL and I'm going to paste in the URL of my background first. So I will we'll copy that, just come back to PixLR, paste that in, say OK. Now I'm going to go up to layer and open image URL as layer. This is where I'm going to bring in what will be my foreground picture. So again, I will go uh, grab the link that I've already placed out there, copy that, come back to PixLR, paste that in, click OK. All right now the magic is ready to happen. So there's actually a tool that is the magic wand tool and it kind of senses the pixels that should be removed. So click that and because I have no shadowing, it selects everything except the picture of me. Now I'm going to click on Edit and choose Cut. So basically we're already done. All we need to do now is resize our foreground image and it's very easy to do that. We're going to click on Edit again and select Pixels. This selects the pixels of my foreground picture and then click free transform. This will let me resize that picture so I can adjust it just how I want to in relation to the background. Now once I've done that I can drag it a little bit, get it just like I want it, click off the picture and it'll ask me to uh, apply the changes. Once I've done this all I need to do is save. So I will click on save. I can select the file format of my choice type in a name, select a location that I want to save it to, and you're done. I hope you will try this out. It's pretty simple to do. Grab a couple of pictures, go to PixLR. The links will be in the description of the video, as well as on my blog, www.personalchange.info. Thanks.